Well, Youth on Record helps Colorado's underserved youth to achieve their academic, artistic, and personal best. They do this by connecting them to local artists who serve as educators and mentors. On June 1st, they're holding a block party featuring some of the best up-and-coming artists in our state. It's going to be fun. And with more, we have Mona Magno, who is a teaching artist with Youth on Record, and Edwina Mabin, who is currently in the fellowship program. Nice to see you both and have you on the show. Hey. I can't yes. wait to hear you perform. <laughs> so first off, Mona, tell me more about Youth on Record. So Youth on Record is a Denver-based nonprofit and we offer four credit music and creative writing classes in high schools and treatment centers in addition to year-round free out-of-school programming. And you started as a student, right? I did, yes. I got connected through Fem Powered, which is our girls' music program. And then I also got connected through our fellowship, which is an artistic professional development program. Very nice. So since you're the program lead for Fem Powered, tell me more about it. So Fem Powered is a free program for girls that are 14 to 21. And we meet twice a month. We host workshops and free lessons and we plan shows wow. and write and record music and have a lot of fun together. This is so cool. Yeah. Very cool. So you have a block party happening June 1st. What can we expect? So the block party is an annual free day event that we host where we close down all the streets near our facility and we invite the community out um, and uh, our students perform. How much is it? It's free. It's free? Yeah. Can, and can people just get involved still? Is it too late if they want to get involved? Um, definitely reach out online. Our okay. website, youthonrecord.org, is the best way to keep in touch and get involved. Very nice. Edwina, how did you get involved with Youth on Record? So I actually heard about it from Fem Powered. I found a poster and I just it looked really interesting to me and I just kind of kept showing up. As an artist, <laughs> has it really helped you? Yeah, I, I feel like it reminds me of what I want to prioritize as an artist, but also in my professional development of just community and having people to work with. Right. Yeah. And, and explain to me, like, describe you as an artist. Tell me about your music. I started songwriting for, like, its healing properties um, and to bring things forward in my mind that I might have been holding back to myself from. That's really cool. I've never um, heard anyone say that before. <laughs> for, yeah. And that's exactly really what a lot of songwriting is, is healing properties right. too. So okay. that's why I started and Youth on Record has just been able to enhance it for me. So are you yeah. going to play a song for us? I am. I'm going to play a song called Go Tell Yesterday. Go Tell Yesterday. All right. <laughs> Let's hear it. So I follow the way of the lights and I let them guide me through the dark. When I fell, messed up, took bad decisions too far I'd use them to tell my heart That if yesterday hurt me, tomorrow's gonna heal me And I'm gonna be alright, alright, alright If yesterday trapped in me, tomorrow's gonna heal me And I'm gonna be what but it makes me want to cry that is beautiful and I think Thank everyone you. can relate to that too if you're having a bad day yeah. you know gosh that's gorgeous how long ago did you write that uh, I wrote this song my senior year of high school just kind of like to reflect back on my experience how old are you now I'm 20. 20. Yeah. Are you going to like try out for The Voice? I think you should. I don't know. Oh, you should. <laughs> Blake Shelton, if you're watching, this girl needs to come on The Voice. Um, what's going on with Youth on Record this summer? Um, so this summer we will be offering programs like Open Lab and Fem Powered. Um, but in addition to that, we're going to actually be at some of the Denver Public Libraries offering music production classes. Very nice. Let's go back to the block party. Now, tell me about some of the performers that are going to be there. Are there students? Yeah, so Edwina is going to be performing. Um, all of the performers are students, actually. Good. Yes, yeah, so they've been involved this year or in the past. 
Um, and it's like really magical. They're so talented. And if other students want to get involved with Youth on Record, they just go to the website. Yep. Do you, do you have another song you want to sing quickly? How long do we have left? Can we, can we ask the director? How long do we have left? We have a minute and a half. You want to do a quick little ditty for me? I just think you're so <laughs> fabulous. Um, you're I, I could just play more of that song. Okay, let's want. do it. Rock yeah. it out, sister. All right, here we go. I didn't sleep that much last night. I was dreaming of my little minute and I forgot to close my eyes. And I saw a tomorrow full of change, brand new first times. But I woke up today with the sun in my face and a change of mind. So I follow the way of the lights and I let them guide me through the dark. When I fell messed up, took bad decisions too far. I'd use them to tell my heart that if yesterday hurt, Put it on iTunes. I download it today. And <laughs> seriously, for all the graduations that are going on, they should play that at the graduation ceremonies. That's a really good tune. Thank Thanks. you very much for coming on. So check out the Youth on Record block party on Saturday, June 1st. It kicks off at 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The address is 1301 West 10th Avenue in Denver. The event, totally free. All ages are welcome to attend. If you want more information and to donate to help keep their programs going, please visit youthonrecords.org.